Alright guys, today I've got another fun video here for you. This is going to be on the Galaxy Note 3 Verizon. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to install Eclipse ROM, which is a ROM that's done by a really cool developer guy I've been following since I've been into Android. His name is Nitroglycerin33, or Scott, whatever. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install it here on the Note 3. Now, there's some prerequisites for this thing. Um, which are going to be in here. You need to make sure that your device is updated to the NC2 base version or build number. Um, I have a video on how to do that and keep root and still have uh, recovery access with SafeStrap. So definitely watch that if you're not on this build right now. You need to be on this build before installing Eclipse ROM. Um, right now this is actually running um, Biggins ROM right now here. That's what I've got on the device right at this moment. Um, so, make sure you have that. Obviously, access is required and safe strap. Besides that, you're just going to download the ROM. Mine's right there. Eclipse uh, TouchWiz Note 3, and this is version 2 Plus, I think, if I remember right. We'll look at properties really quick here. Properties. Yeah, right there. So, it's Eclipse TouchWiz Note 3 version 2.0 KitKat Zip. That's what we're going to be installing on this device. I also have a Galaxy Gadget Lite. Um, and I think I'll be doing a review on that very soon. This is the free version, but also really cool. If you have Eclipse on your device, you're definitely going to want this feature right there. All right, so I'll give you guys links to everything in the video description, just like always. You guys know that's how we roll. Um, so besides that, uh, we're just going to... I'd point out that you probably want to have good battery life. I've got 87%. And we're just going to restart the device. Well, actually, let me show you Safe Strap really quick. You also have to have Safe Strap installed and you want version 3.72 um, at least at this time that is the newest version if you hit reboot to recover right here it will not do it but it will do it when you reboot so I actually will do it that way so reboot to recovery got a little toast down here with some information um, and it actually doesn't reboot here which is kinda stinky because it needs some fixing but if you reboot now when the device does reboot it will reboot directly into safe strap and you won't even have to hit the menu button or any of that kind of stuff to get into safe strap. It'll just boot up. So about Eclipse, um, Eclipse is really cool. It's got a lot of neat features in it. Um, runs really smoothly. So I'm really excited to get this on here. I haven't had Eclipse on any of my devices in a while. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about this. But I did have Eclipse on my original Droid X2. It's the first Android device I ever owned. Really what got me started in Android in general. So here we go, we should boot up, there it is, right into SafeStrap. Now, KitKat version right now and SafeStrap don't really mix. So you can't create ROM slides like I always show you guys how to do this. You have to flash everything to the stock ROM slot. I normally do not recommend this, but it is what it is in this situation and that's how you have to flash ROMs at this point. So first thing you wanna do before you flash anything, you're on NC2, whether you're on a ROM or you're on the stock NC2 build, you want to go in here to do backups. You want to select all three of them and swipe across and create an Android backup. I'm going to go ahead and, oh look, here it even says it. Here's the uh, name and it even says Big and Rounds version 3. So that's very cool. Uh, let's see what it's going to take. It's going to take about 4 gigs of space. I have about 8 on my micro SD external. So we'll go ahead and use that and we'll go ahead and swipe across. And this is going to create your Android backup. This is super, super important to do. Um, if you have a bad ROM install or something goes south, you want to be able to get back to what you were running before. So just really, really important that you go ahead and install, or I should say go ahead and do the Nandroid backup. This is a 4 gig backup uh, approximately, uh, at least on mine for the ROM I was running and the apps I had installed. So you're going to have to give this thing some time. So we're going to let it run and we'll come back to it as soon as it's done. Well guys, almost done here. We went ahead and uh, backed up data, cache, and system. We're just generating an MD5 file right now which proves the integrity of your backups. And then um, should be all done. This backup did take about 8 minutes for the backup 4 gigs of data. So, I mean, depending on how big of a backup you're doing on your device, could take longer, shorter. All depends on that. Now this does have a screen saver that turns off the uh, safe strap recovery screen, um, but 
you know, you can always just hit power, unlock it, you're, you're back up and running. So this should be done here any second. There we go. All right, so it says reboot system now. We do not want to do that. We want to go back, just go back twice there, and now we're on our normal options. All right, so to install this ROM, what you want to do, you have an Android backup. You actually, I actually have two now. See, one stock, one's Biggins ROM. Very cool. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to wipes, and you just want to swipe across, and this is going to wipe data, um, factory reset your device, so you'll lose all your apps, passwords, all that kind of good stuff will be gone, but you'll have a clean slate to install Eclipse ROM on. So then we're just going to go to installs. We're going to, we should be in our SD card, we're just going to scroll to downloads. And this is external SD card, so we have to find the internal SD card. So it should be here. Then we're going to go to downloads, see if we can find them. Downloads, 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 there it is. And then here's my folder, and right there is the zip. So we'll select it. It's so listed, Eclipse TouchWiz, Note 3, V 2.0, KitKat, Zip, and swipe across to flash the zip. So, um, like I said, I don't like flashing things to stock ROM slot just because you lose your safety factor with, with safe strap and, and a ROM slot. Um, that's kind of the beauty of safe strap. But this is functional and you can do it. Um, I just recommend not to just because you lose that security of always having that stock system never even messed with. Um, that's kind of the beauty of it. But we're installing right now. You can see Eclipse, really cool little uh, graphic, or I guess you could call it right there. Um, does show you his uh, website, ElementalXDesigns.com, which is where I got this ROM from, and I'll give you links to it in the video description. Time for good stuff, mounting system. Oh, this is always good. I love reading this. Mounting your system like a horse. Installing system. So you can see you got a progress bar down here. This thing's not going to take too long. It's about... Um, a gig and a half size file to flash. As soon as it's done, we'll uh, show you guys this ROM. So just give it a second. All right, there it is, all done. About the time the screen dims is when it finishes. So um, from here we're good. Everything is done, completely done. If you wanted to, you can actually wipe cache Delvic again. Not needed though. We can just go ahead and hit reboot system, and this should boot. Here we go. Got custom recovery still, Galaxy Note 3, Verizon Edition, of course, that's what we're on right here. Um, let's just see what we got here for, I think the safe strap, yeah, you're still going to see safe strap and it's going to say disabled because safe strap is still functional, which is very good. You can hit the continue button if you want or you can just wait and it will boot normally. So then now we're going to see the Eclipse boot animation, I'm thinking, and I don't know which one it is, so I'm kind of excited for that. Okay, so this is the stock Eclipse boot animation. All right, so boot animation could take up to, on this device, should be pretty quick. I'm going to say five minutes. If it doesn't boot in five minutes, you need to power off, get back into safe strap with the recovery button on the reboot, and then restore the Nandroid backup that we just made. Let's let this thing boot. I'm going to shoot through some settings. I'm going to show it to you when I get it booted up. All right, guys, here it is. Fully booted up. This is Eclipse ROM on the Galaxy Note 3 Verizon. So um, let's go ahead and we'll just kind of go through some of this. This thing does come with... Nova Launcher is the default launcher, it looks like. Um, let's go ahead and check out our app drawer. You can see this is actually, this is kind of neat. I like this. It's blue for apps and green for widgets. I like that variation. I think that's um, is neat. I've not seen that in other, in other ROMs, so that's very cool. Nice little touch right there. You can see it does have the uh, CM File Manager right over there. Galaxy Gear, or Gear Manager, I should say, right there. Um, standard stuff in here, Super Sue right there. Hit no thanks. So it does have root access. Google Wallet, which is very cool. Hopefully that functions for us. That's very neat. And then here's Terminal Emulator if you want to use that. You can see I've got applications already downloading. And that looks about it. About two pages. Um, pretty standard stuff. You can download anything more you want than that. But uh, so far it looks nice. There's your watch on for your IR Blaster. Um, very, very slick, very slick. Let's see what we got here. So Play Store or Nova settings. You want to change the way some of your Nova stuff looks. You can do that like your app drawer and some features in there. You can see I've got all kinds of goodies syncing up now. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our notifications here. And you can see this is now, instead of that TouchWiz looking um, notifications, you have fully like stock Android looking um, 
notification toggles and stuff like that. So that's a very, very cool battery percentage, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so on. We can go into settings here, and you can see what you have here for settings. Blocking mode, hands-free mode, stored power saver, I always turn that on. Battery information, application man manager, default applications, which is nice if you set something default like um, your launcher or something like that, you can change it in here. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything listed right now. So your messaging service and your home you can see is Nova Launcher. And you can't change Nova Launcher because you don't have another home launcher installed. But messaging application is this. I always use Hangouts, so we're going to set Hangouts as my default messaging application, which is nice. Um, standard, standard kind of stuff here, motion gestures, uh, uh, voice controls, and so on. Um, we'll go ahead and look at it here. So you can see it is the um, SM-9. I mean, SM-N900V, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Verizon version. NC2 is your baseband, build number NC2, C Linux status permissive, very nice. We can kick on the uh, KitKat Easter egg, check that sucker out for KitKat, all of the goodies. There we go. Pretty cool. Very, very nice, very nice. Um, let's see, I'm just curious how this functions on this device, so let's uh, check this out. Pull this stylus out. Okay, so that is nothing really uh, changed with the stylus. Looks pretty pretty standard. Um, push your buttons and yeah. Pretty, pretty standard looking setup, I think. Pretty cool. Yep, don't show. Just draw a little box. Say you want gallery, for example. And there's gallery. Pretty slick, pretty slick. Very cool. So, like I said, very, very nice. Oh, you can't even see this button. Here's your um, multi-window launcher right here. You can set do settings on it. Create windows. Open two windows with it. So, you know, create one. And then, I don't know, we want to create something different here. Hey, so much to choose from and so little time. Here we go, video or something. So you know you can do your split windows and all that kind of that kind of cool stuff. So pr pretty slick, pretty slick. Definitely digging that. Um, let's see what else we got here really quick. Settings. We went through all that. Pretty standard stuff. So um, there's all your windows because this is using Nova Launcher. So if you seen and want to see more about Nova Launcher and how to like work through that. I can give you guys um, information on that. Let's check out phone really quick. Um, so this is that like latest and greatest uh, phone, which is pretty sweet. Uh, nice looking layout. I, I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. So that you're gonna get those features in here. Oh, and here I've just installed <laughs> Apex. It auto installed for me, so I'm just gonna leave it as Nova for right now. Um, you can see things installing up here. I could even show you maybe this. Actually, let's show you this camera really too, really quick. This looks pretty slick. So here's your camera. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. That's cool. I dig it. Nice little uh, camera interface right there. So there you go. Like I said, sorry this is a little long for you. Just trying to kind of go over all of it and get a good feeling of how Eclipse Round looks and runs. Like I said, so far I'm seeing it runs pretty smooth. Um, definitely digging it. I'm going to be running this thing for a while. I love Eclipse Round. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more videos on the Galaxy Note 3 and all the devices I cover. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.